Hello guys and welcome to another video and this one is going to be a short one talking about something that I found in the trailer. This was actually pointed out to me by a comment so thank you to whoever left that. This is about the Chieftain rework and specifically about the Tauhoa's chosen ability that's granted by the Forest Strength Notable. And there was a lot of questions when we saw this rework for the first time. How is this going to work exactly? Is this going to be changed? Because there's obviously a node leading off of this which grants you Fist of War and we know in the current game Fist of War has no interaction with the Tauhoa's chosen ability because Fist of War only boosts the damage of skills that you specifically use yourself and it won't boost the damage of other entities that that support affects. So as it is right now, if you use a slam skill in game and you have this ability on your character, well, the slam skill will be boosted by Fist of War on your own character, but the Tauhoa's chosen ability which spawns a Mirage Chieftain, the Chieftain itself will not gain the boost from Fist of War and Fist of War will essentially be a dead link. So. Here's a little video showcasing what Tauhoa's Chosen looks like right now in game. You can see that the animation is very similar to Fist of War, but it's like a bit of a darker colour. And it's basically a Mirage Chieftain that pops out of your character. It looks similar to Ancestral War Chief, the actual animation, and it just performs an attack. The same attack that you're using, it does it once and then it disappears. And this has a short cooldown and then you can use it again and the Mirage Chieftain will pop out again and repeat your attack. And as I said, if you're using Fist of War, the Fist of War will not affect the Mirage Chieftain's attack. But the Mirage Chieftain's attack is essentially similar to Fist of War because it is boosted by 100% more damage. And this is what it looks like in-game right now. And if we move over to the Trial of the Ancestors trailer, we can actually see in the little section about the new reworked Chieftain, we can see this actually happening on the screen, and it's changed. The ability has definitely changed. Instead of spawning a Mirage Chieftain that looks similar to Ancestral War Chief, it spawns a Mirage that looks more similar to the one spawned by General's Cry. It only spawns one of them, so that hasn't changed. And we can see here that the Mirage repeats the same slam as the Chieftain does. But really importantly, we can actually see from this little bit of footage that the Fist of War support is boosting the damage of the Chieftain's ability, but we can see no Fist of War animation above the Mirage. And I would say that even though this is not 100% confirmation that this is not changing, I think it's a pretty surefire thing to say that the Fist of War support will still not affect the Mirage Chieftain's ability. And the only exception may be that it potentially boosts the damage without playing the animation, which would be really, really weird because the whole reason why Fist of War has an animation is because it has a cooldown so that you know when it's actually boosting your attack and when it's not. And the other possibility, of course, is that it's somehow still on cooldown for the Mirage Chieftain, but not for the player. But that would be a little bit weird, and I don't think that would even be possible. So I think this footage here is almost confirmation that Fist of War will not affect the Mirage spawned by Tauhoa's Chosen. And here's the side-by-side -side footage so that you can actually see both of the animations. You can definitely see that this has changed. So this is being changed and we know that the strike skills will now affect Tower as Chosen as well. And that's potentially why it's actually being changed because we already know that different strike skills work with General's Cry. So it's possible that the animations weren't coded in for the Mirage Chieftain itself. And they decided to switch this over to one that's already been coded in the background. And we know that General's Cry uses slams and strike skills and already has all the animations playing because, of course, these are just the same kind of models that are being used for the player character. And I think that's exactly what's going on here. Whether the skill will be changed so that it has a lower cooldown, for example, I could see it having a different cooldown based on what ability you use. So it could have a longer cooldown for slams and then those slams have more damage. And there could be a shorter cooldown for strike skills and the boosted damage is a bit lower for strike skills. But then it kind of goes off more often. That's definitely possible. But I think just based on this footage alone here, Fist of War is not going to affect the Mirage Chieftain. And that's a bit disappointing, honestly. I would love to have seen Fist of War affect the Chieftain specifically for this interaction here. So keep Fist of War the same across the rest of the game, but just have Chieftain have this very special interaction where it works particularly on this ability i think that would be really cool but based on those footage it doesn't look like that's going to be a thing unfortunately what do you guys think of this would you like to see the mirage warrior spawned by this ability be affected by fist of war 
I feel like it wouldn't be that bad for one leak to have Chieftain deal a lot of damage with slams, right? Surely. I mean, it's not even that much more. Like, depending on the cooldown, it's not that strong, I think. So, I don't know. I was kind of hoping for this to be changed, but based on this footage, I don't think it is going to be changed. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Big shout out to my channel members. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay tuned and stay safe.